All right, class, so yesterday we started uh, working with multiplying by a one-digit number times two-digit or three-digit number. And remember yesterday we had one that snuck in there that needed some renaming, and I said we'll go through it, and then today we would go through it a little bit more. So you're going to have a lot of problems with renaming today. So let's just start with, um, let's start with our blocks. Well, first of all, I'll show you the problem we're going to do. So we're going to multiply 2 times 47. So remember that's two groups of 47 that we're going to multiply. All right. And I want you just to take a look at the blocks real quick. All right. So I have 40, right? 10, or I'm sorry, four tens and seven ones. And I've got four tens and seven ones. So I have two groups of 47, right? So if I was going to put those all together, I would start with my ones first. And so I have seven ones and seven ones. So how many ones is that all together? Okay, so seven plus seven is 14, right? Okay, so 14, I can't squeeze a one and a four in my ones place, right? So I'm going to change 10 of my ones in for another 10. I'm renaming, right? So let me get those 10 out. Here's two, four, six, eight, 10. Okay, so I'm taking those out because I'm renaming for an extra 10, right? So then I would put these four ones in the one place and I would have my eight tens plus one more, right? Okay, so let me show you what that looks like when we're writing it, okay? So remember our pattern. This should be getting to be a habit now, right? So we start with taking our multiplier and multiplying our ones place first, right? So let me draw my arrow there, okay? So I say two times seven equals, okay, now it equals 14. So I'm not gonna squeeze 14 down here because I can only put one digit in the ones place. So I'm gonna put my four here. And then remember how I took those 10 ones cubes away and I changed it in for another 10, right? So what I'm gonna do is I've already multiplied my ones and it becomes 14 ones. But I'm going to put one, uh, four in my ones place and I'm gonna rename 10 ones as one more 10. Now I'm going to add it here with a plus sign because what I'm going to do is after I take my multiplier times my tens, I'm just gonna add in an extra 10. And the reason I don't multiply it is because this is left over from the ones. I've already multiplied that, okay? So let's take the multiplier times our tens place, okay? So I have two times four, and that equals eight tens, right? Plus one more tens, so eight tens plus one more 10 equals nine tens, okay? And so my answer is 94, and my answer was, remember I had my eight tens plus one more, that's nine tens plus our four ones, 94, right? That's just exactly what we did. Okay, there's one other way to check ourselves, and that's to do the repeated addition. So remember, this was two groups of 47. So I add 47 plus 47. I start with my ones. Seven plus seven is 14. Look at there. I'm renaming, right? I put my four ones and I'm bringing the one up here, which I'm also going to add, right? Okay, so I just take all my tens now. So four plus four plus one more is nine. So remember, math always follows patterns, okay? And we've already learned this pattern for renaming our ones to tens. And now we're just doing it with multiplication. So it's a tiny bit different, but it's still sort of the same pattern, isn't it? Okay, let's try another one. And then we'll get started on our workbook page and I'll go through those with you too so that you are uh, clear in your understanding. Okay, so let's do, let's do 27 times, or three times 27. Okay, so remember my, that means three groups of 27. And I'm going to set up my addition problem with 
three groups of 27. So that would look like this. Okay, and I want to also get 27 with my blocks. So here's 20, there's 27, okay, and another group of 27. There's two, four, five, seven, and another group of 27, okay. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right, so now you can see I have three groups of 27. Make sure I have seven in each of those. Okay. All right, and if I want to put them all together, I'm going to start with my ones. Okay, so I have seven and seven and seven. And you know what? I don't really want to count all of those. I don't really want to add them. I've got a shortcut. Do you know what that shortcut is? Three groups of seven. It's 21, right? 21! That means I can trade these in. I can trade 20 of these in for two tens, right? And I would have one left over. If this is 21, right, I can take these 20 and change it in for two tens. And then I would just have one left over, right? Okay, so my three groups of 27, now that I've done my renaming, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and one, one, 81. Okay, so let's do that with our numbers. And let's see if we get 81, okay? So first step on multiplying, we'll take our multiplier and multiply by our ones place, right? Oh yeah, I remember doing that with the blocks, right? I had three groups of seven, and I said the shortcut is to multiply them, and what did I get? I got 21, right? So three times seven is 21. So remember, I'm going to take those two tens and put them where they belong in the tens place, okay? And it was two tens, remember? Because we had 21, we're going to leave one in the ones place and change 20 of those in for two tenths. Okay, next step is to multiply our tens. And we take our multiplier times our two tens. We don't multiply this because this was part of the ones that we've already multiplied, right? So this we're just adding in to the end. Okay, so three times two equals six and then you add your two extras. So three times two is six plus two more equals eight. And there's our 81, just like we got with our blocks. Okay, let's check with our addition. So we always start with our ones, seven plus seven plus seven, we know is 21. And remember we put our two tens up in the tens. Now we add all our tens, two, four, six, eight. And there is our answer, 81. Okay, remember if that is, we went a little too fast or you missed a step or you're not quite sure, stop the video, rewind and watch that again, okay? So that you get that pattern down straight. Okay, so I'm going to go on to our work text page 285. Okay, and let's go over those instructions together in the box, okay? I know sometimes these pictures are a little uh, confusing, but I do want you to be familiar with those on what we're doing, okay? Because picturing the renaming is quite helpful. Okay, so let's look at the first step. Remember, we're going to multiply the ones, okay? So we have, uh, we're doing four, three times 14. Here it's added for us, here it's multiplied. So you're multiplying three times four, that's our ones place, and it's 12 right? And so when I have 12, it's a 110 and two ones, I'm going to rename the 10 ones as 110, okay? So we're going to put, um, we're going to uh, rename and put our 110 up here in the tens place, okay? Next step, we're going to multiply the tens, okay? So we have 3 times 110 is 3 plus 
Remember, we add that extra 10 in at the end, and that gives us 42. And if we add it, we get 42. Now, here's what it looked like, okay? So we had 14, right? A 10 and a 4. We had three groups of 14. A 10 and a 4, a 10 and a 4, a 10 and a 4. When we put all the ones together, we could trade 10 of the ones in for one extra 10. Okay, so that's what it's showing. We're putting all our ones together and we're going to take 10 of them to make an extra 10. That way we have four tens and two ones. Four tens and two ones, four tens and two ones. Okay, let's try some together. Let's try number one. Let me get a pen. Okay, so we're going to write a multiplication problem for the picture and we're going to solve it and rename as needed. Okay, so what's our multiplication problem? Let's look. We've got a 10 and 3 ones, 10 3 ones, 10 3 ones. Okay, so how many groups of 10 and 3 ones or 13 do we have? How many groups of 13? We have four. So four is going to be our multiplier. Make sure you leave a little space when you're writing it. <laughs> Did you see that? See how I wrote it backwards again? I've got to get used to working in um, this screen looking backwards. I'm trying to find my whiteout wherever it went. Oh, well. Okay, so I'll rewrite that problem. Okay, so I was on the, the right problem describing it to you. I just put the four in the wrong place. Okay, so when you are writing your multiplier, make sure you leave a little space because we're not multiplying by tens, we're multiplying by ones, so make sure that's in your ones spot. Okay, so we have four groups of 13, so we're writing four times 13 this way. The three goes with the four in the ones column, the one goes in the tens column. Okay, so we're multiplying four times three, because we start with our ones, four times three is 12. Okay, so I can only put one digit here, so we've got to think, if I've got the number 12, how many ones do I have? That's right, I have 12, or I have two ones, and 10 of the ones I'm putting up here with a plus sign in my tens place. Okay, so now I'm going to add, or multiply my tens. Four times one is four, plus one more. Okay, four times one equals four, plus one more. So that would give us 52. Okay, so let's take a look at our picture. All right, so when we take all of these ones, we're always going to try to rename as a 10 if we can. So here's 3, 6, 9, plus one more would give us that 10. Okay, so go ahead and circle 10 of your ones. Okay, and those 10 ones become one extra 10. You can just draw a rectangle up in your 10 spot. Okay, so when we put these four groups of 13 together, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, because those ones that we grouped into a 10 became a 10, and two ones. So five tens and two ones, just like our answer, five tens, two ones. Okay, let's try this. This is where I made my mistake, so this is going to have to be a 2. I'm just going to make a new box for us because I messed up, and that's why you don't use pen, but it doesn't show up very well when I use pencil on the camera, so I'm making mine right here. Okay, so let's take a look at our numbers so we can write our multiplication problem, okay? So we've got two tens and what is that, five ones? Two tens and five ones, two tens and five ones. So we've got 25, 25. How many groups of 25 do we have? Two. So you're going to use two as your multiplier. It's going to look like this. And then what are we multiplying by two? We're multiplying 25. So write 25 above the two and make sure your ones are all lined up, okay? Okay, so we take our multiplier, multiply by our tens. 2 times 5 equals 10. OK, 
Okay, so I've got 10 ones, but I can't write one zero in the ones place. So I'm going to take all of those ones and put them into a 10, right? So I'm going to put zero ones, but I am putting a plus one up in my 10 spot. Okay. All right, now I multiply my multiplier times my tens. So I have two times two equals four plus one more. And two times two plus one more would be five. So my answer is 50. Okay, so let's look and see what we did. When we put all of these together, we're gonna take our tens and if, I'm sorry, we're gonna take our ones and if they add up to 10, we're gonna take them out of the one spot and make a 10 over here. Okay, so since five plus five equals 10, I'm going to take all of them and make a new 10. Okay, so I took all of my ones and made a new 10. Now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, just like my answer. Okay, let's try number three. All right, so what have I got here? I've got a 10 and six ones, a 10 and six ones. Make sure I'm counting that right. I'm doing number four. <laughs> Let me try this again. Let's go to number three. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Ten and six ones. I was right. Okay. So a ten and six ones and a ten and six ones. Okay. So a ten and six ones equals 16. How many groups of 16 do I have? Two groups. Okay. So two is my multiplier. And then I write 16 on the top and I make sure that my ones places are all lined up and then my tens column. Okay, so I take my multiplier, two, two groups of six ones, two groups of six ones, right? And that equals 12. Okay, so that means I've got to do some renaming. So I'm going to take five. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to take 10. I am not speaking very clearly, am I? I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to take 10 away and make a new 10. So go ahead and take your 10 ones, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so take your 10 ones and make a new 10. All right, and so you should have two ones left over. Okay, so 2 times 6 equals. 12. So I put my 2 here and I change the rest of the 10 ones into an extra 10. And I'm going to put a plus 1 up here in my 10. So I remember to add that in at the end. If we forget to rename and put our ones up here, we often get the answer wrong because we forget to add that last 10 in. Okay, so 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 1 more equals three. So our answer is 32. Okay, so let's look at our picture. I have a 10, a 10, a 10, and then I have two ones. So that makes 32, just like we got. Okay, let's go down here to number five. We don't need to use the, um, the cubes this time, but you can always draw them if, if it's helpful to you. Okay, so I have six times two equals 12. So that means I put my two ones here and then I take the 10 and I make it a plus one in my tens column. And now I'm going to multiply six times one. That equals six plus one more. Six times one is six plus one more is seven. So we've got 72. Okay. I'm not going to go through all of these with you guys because I can see that the video is getting very long already. So let's just do maybe just the odd ones. Okay. So let's go to number seven. Let's do 13 times five. So five times three equals 15. So I put the five down and I'm going to take the 10 and put it up in my tens column with a little plus so that I remember to add that in at the end. Okay. So now I take my multiplier times my tens, five times one equals five 
plus one more equals six. Okay, my screen just went out again like it did yesterday, but I know that you guys could see me. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so, um, so I do five times one is five plus one more is six, so my answer is 